What is up everyone? Okay, I'm so excited to share all the things I feel like if you are, maybe you're pregnant right now watching this, maybe it's your first kid, second kid, third kid, 18th kid, I don't know what your life situation is. Or maybe you're in that postpartum haze and you're needing some recommendations. I'm gonna share my favorites. A little backstory on me, I have two little girls. I have a four year old and a three month old. So we're just now getting out of that phase. You know the phase, you might be in it right now, baby. It is weird and you'll get through it, I promise. But I feel like we're just kind of getting out of that. And so I, I've got some good recommendations, some things I don't always hear a lot of people talk about in videos. I trust, I've watched a lot of these videos. And, um, and then some things you've heard a lot, but I'm just gonna either give my two cents whether I really love it and I think it's worth the money. And then some things you might be surprised to hear me say are not worth the money that I regret buying, etc. Let's dive in. Let's start with kind of on the go things. I'm gonna to try to organize this in some way. So first of all, diaper bag. I won't spend too much time on this because diaper bags are so personal. I've tried four different ones. This is my favorite one. So this is the Luli Baby one. They're kind of pricey. I do have a discount code with them. I'll put below. I don't know exactly how much it saves you, but if you were like actually thinking about buying it, definitely save some money. You can use my code. There are other YouTubers that have codes, but I love this. I love the color. I love that it's got two side uh, pockets for bottles. If you, like for me, I have two kids. It's nice to have one side for a bottle and one side for my toddler's like water cup because then I'm not having to dig around if I just wanna grab it out quickly. But there's plenty of space in here. I like the organization that it has. This is not actually fully packed because we just got back from a trip so I've taken most of the stuff out. And, but generally it's a big open area and then there's some pockets in the front I use for diapers and wipes. There's some side pockets there. I keep like pacifiers. And then I love, love, love this front pocket. So I'm just a big fan of this. I also use this in my hospital bag. I can link my video below to see exactly every single thing that was in my hospital bag with links and all. I'll link that video if you're in that zone right now. But I use the same brand for the hospital bag and I love it. But the diaper bag, 100% I recommend. And they have a smaller version too. So if you're like, I don't need that much room, they have a smaller version. Okay, still on the, the uh, on the go theme, a wet bag. I feel like I do not hear people talk about this. This is the most essential thing in your diaper bag. Let me just tell you a little story to give you a reason why you need this. Three different times now, we've been in a situation with our newest Felicity where we've been out in public and there's been a blowout because that just happens. And so in the diaper bag, I usually, I just emptied it out, but I usually have a onesie and a sleeper in here, just at all times, so that if anything happens, we can change her. And I also recommend two outfits, not just one, just anyway. It's so nice because I was able to clean up the situation, put the clothes in here, and then I love that it has this strap that you can hook onto, mine got all weird in the wash, but it has this strap that you can hook onto anything so you're not having to stuff it back in your diaper bag. Until you can get it home, you can wash the clothes, you can wash this with it, it washes really well. Like I said, this got caught in like a part of our old washer. Don't get me started on our washer and dryer. I've already gone down that road in another video. Anyway, but that aside, I think this is such an essential. It's so nice to have. I can't tell you with our first Genevieve how many times I've thrown away outfits because we just, we had a clean outfit, but we didn't have anything to put the nasty outfit in and I was not about to put it in our diaper bag. So anyway, love these. They have a million different patterns. This is the Bumpkins brand and definitely a necessity. I also really like, I think this is also the Bumpkins brand. It just says Disney baby on the side, but some kind of little bag to gather all of those loose little items that inevitably float around your diaper bag. So in here, like I said, we just got back from a trip, so it's kind of a weird smattering. I have like my toddler sunglasses, an extra pacifier, hand sanitizer, sunscreen, infant Tylenol, boogie wipes, Aquaphor, gas relief. This is a huge, like, I did not, I swear this did not exist for babies when we had Genevieve. If it did, it would have made our lives way easier. This stuff is a godsend if you have a gassy baby. She's not too terribly bad, but when she is, it is so nice. And I'm telling you, it works like a charm. So another little added thing there. Oh, and I also have like little bags for diapers that really, if you didn't have a wet bag, you could use one of these in a pinch. Just uh, some of those little bags. So I feel like I'm going really fast. Slow down, Jess. I love this. We are big Disney people. So the Snow White print was really pretty. And usually you get them in a pack of three where there's like the bigger, medium, and smaller size. You can use them as snack bags, whatever. So I I love these and definitely recommend having something to hold little loose items together in your bag. Plus then I found it easier, like if I'm, my husband's like, where is the, let's say the gas relief? I can be like, it's in the little Cinderella bag and then he can reach in and grab it versus saying it's in the 
left pocket in the right note to the left of that. Like it just makes life easier. I'm curious, I was mentioning before, you know, your guys' life situation. If you're watching this, put down in the comment below, what is your situation right now? Are you pregnant? Did you just have a baby? Are you not ever having planning on like, planning on having, what am I saying? <laughs> Are you not ever planning on having babies? You're just watching for the fun of it? I don't know. Let me know your situation. I'm kind of curious. Is it your 25th baby? Your second? Your fourth? I don't know. I joke about large families for a reason. I come from a larger family and my siblings, two of them have many, many kids. Not 25, but a lot of kids. So continuing with the on the go theme, this little formula holder. So we, at this point, combo feed, I nurse, I pump, we give formula bottles, we literally do it all. And this has been amazing. I know my best friend Emily has one of these too for her little boy, but she uses it at this point for snacks. So it's really cool. It's got three little chambers. You can pop it open and dump the formula into your bottle. So you, I just pre-measure the amount for however many ounces and I just make sure whatever bottle I'm using, I fill it with that much water. So then on the go, I can dump one of the chambers in, shake it up, you're ready to go. But it's cool too, because then as they get older, you can put Cheerios in it, puffs, and have three different snacks. And I like that when you turn it, it snaps into place so you know you're not gonna be getting spillover from another chamber and get like the wrong amount of formula or something. So this is awesome, it's very inexpensive. It's from the Munchkin brand, and I know they have pink and blue. That might be the only colors they have, but I love it. Okay, I'm gonna count this one as an on-the-go item. So this became one of my favorite things, and I only own one, which is kind of surprising. I'm one of those people that I like to have two of things, so like if one's being washed, I have the other. So I, I might inevitably buy another, we'll see. But this is from the Copper Pearl brand. I feel like Copper Pearl can be kind of pricey, but it's worth it. <laughs> I have a lot of favorites. I actually have a fail, though, from the brand, too, I'm gonna mention, but this is a three-in-one product and that's why I love it. it is the only blanket I carry with me because it is a blanket but it's also a nursing cover if you are nursing it has like the hole at the top it also works as a carrier cover and it is uber stretchy uber stretchy uber soft and it's just pretty they have a million beautiful prints but I love that it has that three-in-one quality where it can be a blanket just while they're in their carrier it can cover the carrier I can use it as a nursing cover I love that I love that so much so it could be like a sun you know if you put it over there just so the sun's not right in their eyes it just does it all and I love that I don't have to carry a nursing cover and a blanket separate I can just use it for all of it you could use it as a burp cloth if you want to so I wash it like once a week or so just because you know it does get used but I don't want to have to wash it every single time it's amazing highly recommend it is one of the most used items in this first three months for sure another on-the-go item this sun hat I <laughs> bought an embarrassing amount of sun hats because her head Felicity's head is so small and so finding one that would work now and for the future I finally found it it's from the green sprouts brand and I love that it has this little toggle to tighten it which is great so it'll actually kind of fit on her head better but it has this little visor part in the front, it has a tie, it has this longer part in the back. So even when we would wear her in her like carrier on us, which I'll talk about my favorite in a sec, this would stay on really well, even with only, you know, part of her head sticking up, it would protect it from the sun. We were just in Disney and so that this was essential. I know it's got whatever SPF, UPF rating, which is great too, but I love it. It washes well, we've washed it a few times and Big fan. I need to wash it again. We got some peanut butter and jelly on it. And again, they have a bunch of different colors. I do also have like an Amazon storefront where I have, not all of this is on Amazon. A lot of it I'm gonna link to probably like Bye Bye Baby. On Amazon, I do have a storefront where it has all of like different categories of my favorites on there. And I do have a category for like baby favorites, toddler favorites, stuff like, I think I even have a pregnancy favorites one too. So if you wanna kind of see a lot of these all in one place, I'll link the storefront link because that helps. Again, if you use any of my links down in the description box, I do get commission if you buy something through my link. So I always want to say that when I can, especially in a link heavy video like this. So thank you if you use the links. It does support my channel. And if you don't want to, no big deal. You can go find them on your own. It's no big deal. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, pacifier clips. So I'll link our favorite pacifiers. She happened to like the ma'am ones. And it's funny, a lot of people I know in my life have had babies recently. It's like pandemic baby boom, you know? I wonder what they'll call these babies. You know, like there was the baby boomers, you know? I wonder what they'll, cause this was definitely a baby boom. <laughs> a lot of the babies that I've, that have been born recently in our friends group, I feel like use the same pacifiers, the ma'am ones. So I'll link them below. My daughter just loves them. Anyway, we found these on Amazon and it was like a four pack. They're kind of stretchy. They're really soft. I can literally throw them in the washer to wash them, which is amazing. Cause 
you get spit up on it, drool, you know, it just kind of gets gross. So I like that it's easy to clean. And I just like that it's stretchy and soft. It doesn't seem to bother her when it's like on the pacifier. Some of them, like we have one with beads and A, it just makes me nervous, but B, it's, it's just hard and I feel like she can kind of feel it around her mouth and this is a lot softer. So highly recommend these. I love them. I, like I said, it was a four pack. I would never need any more. They're easy to wash. I feel like I keep repeating myself, Jessica. Stop. You just say it once. They heard you the first time. So I'm going to count this as an on the go item. <laughs> so we had Felicity in early April. It is summer now. It is hot, but inevitably one of my biggest pet peeves is if we have her out and she doesn't have socks or shoes on because it's like 95 degrees out inevitably someone could be someone we know a lot of times it's a stranger always someone older will say oh you need to get some socks on this poor thing i'm like no we don't a it is hot b they're just gonna kick them off but i've learned to just alleviate that usually not in 95 degree weather but in 80 or below weather i'll throw these little booties on so these are from the zutano brand i have two of them a white and a pink these stay on they have many different sizes of the booty and then they also on here you can snap it on the looser one or the tighter one and they just there's something about the design of this that's perfect they actually stay on she has never successfully kicked these off whereas every pair of socks has been kicked off. So one of my fails is just newborn socks. I tried a couple different kinds yet again this time and yet again, they I just don't even try because they don't stay on. So, so I would say if you're gonna buy anything, I wouldn't worry about newborn shoes, newborn socks, just get a couple pairs of these and you'll be like, perfect, thank you. That's, it's the only thing that stays on. But of course, if it's winter time, you definitely want. So you could put socks on and then put these on on top and they'll still stay on and then their feet are extra warm. She'll have like a sleeper on with the footy part and then I'll put the footy in this and that works too. Our favorite carrier, and again, we've tried quite a few different kinds over the years, especially like as Genevieve got bigger, we really have tried it all. And our favorite that we've found is the Ergo Baby Embrace. We love it so much. It's so easy. It's like three little things you, you know, connect and there's something about it. It's comfortable to wear for both of us. It's easy to adjust. You know, if I were wearing her and then we switch, it's really quick for us to adjust the size. It's, it's easy to learn how to do. It's not super complicated and it's comfortable. She loves, loves being in it. She falls asleep almost instantly when we wear her. It is huge. We didn't baby wear as much with Genevieve, I think because we weren't really in love with any of the carriers we had, but we have done it so much more with Felicity and it has really changed the game. I feel like she's just a happier baby because of it. Not that that makes a happier baby, but I think we're not struggling and fighting to get her to nap because sometimes she just naps on us and that's fine. I can still get some stuff done. So love that one so much. They have a couple different colors. Let's get into like some of the basics at home. Maybe I should have started with this. Oh, well. So the obvious ones, diapers, wipes, our favorites our favorite diapers are the pamper swaddlers we've tried all the natural brands we tried they're the best ones my husband's even said he said jessica stop trying new ones we know we like these they work they don't leak etc so pamper swaddlers for the win our favorite wipes are the again we've tried a lot of the natural ones our favorites are just the huggies natural care there's something about the the texture of them you feel like you can really get them clean they don't get stuck together as easily. They're easy to pull out. Like they're just perfect. And again, that's for two separate babies. We've still come to the same conclusion. The bottles we're using now are the Philips Avent ones with the wide neck. It seems to be what she likes. We bought like one of four different kinds to try them out. And that's the one we settled on. It's perfect. So that's my other recommendation. Don't buy like five of the same kind. Just buy one. They even have like packs you can get. I think on like baby list and maybe bye bye baby where you can get a pack of four different ones again try them out figure out what works and don't forget that there are different nipple stages because we had to land on the right one where she wasn't guzzling it so fast that she was choking but it wasn't so slow that she was getting frustrated with the bottle you really have to find that happy medium so once you found that that works out really well and then the pacifiers i've already told you what kind so the other at home basics would be swaddles. So honestly, y'all, <laughs> we've tried, I swear to you, every kind of swaddle upstairs, every single kind. This is the best kind. It was the favorite from Genevieve and it became the favorite again with Felicity. It is the Halo Sleep Sack. It's the kind that it's pretty simple. It's literally just a sack that you zip up, right? And you put her, their arms through the holes like a little vest. And then you pull their arms down and you put the two flaps over. It Velcros nice and tight. 
she can't get out of it. Now, she started to weasel her hands up, and now that she's three months, it's not that big of a deal. We're gonna not be swaddling soon anyway. But these are just the best, and I love too that you can still, it shows you different ways to wear it, and you can still use it with their arms out as they get a little bit bigger, and just put the, the wrap part underneath their like armpits. Genevieve loved these, Felicity loves these. They're just amazing. They're kind of pricey for what they are, but honestly, I feel like most swaddles are, and these are just the ones that worked so well for us. So that's the only one I'm gonna recommend because that is truly the one that we use. Sleepers. I have two favorites here. So the Cloud Island ones are super popular for a reason. They're not super expensive. You can get like a three pack at Target. Cloud Island is a Target brand. But I love that they have these zippers that go up and down. So while it's zipped up, you can unzip it from the bottom, do a diaper change, and then zip it back up without taking the whole thing. You know what I mean? I keep saying thing and like it's, I sound like Sylvester Stallone. No, no, <laughs> no, Sylvester from, he says, Thuffer and Thuckadash. What is that? It is Sylvester's his name. I keep accidentally doing that. Am I okay? So really love these. I love that the smaller sizes have the fold over mittens. So if you want to cover their hands, especially when they're freshly born, you can do that without having the separate mittens that again, always fall off. So that is my second fail, mittens. Again, I bought a few different sizes and I found some that actually stay on. So if you're really set on it, I can link the ones I got that I really do feel like stay on better than anything, but we just didn't use them. A, there are some studies that come out that actually it's important that babies can reach their fingers and the little scratches heal so fast, you guys. They don't scratch themselves that often. That's kind of what I've gleaned and so it's not as big of a deal. It is totally up to you. And we did use the folded over things for the first few weeks kind of off and on, but I feel like generally more often than not, after that first few days, we really didn't, so just, that's just an added thing I wanted to share. But they always have cute prints, and again, you can get like three packs. The other favorite are these magnetic slippers. So the Magnetic Me brand is like the expensive one, and those are seem to be nice. I don't own any, but I do own some of this cheaper brand called E equals MC, and these are amazing. They magnetize the same way, and they just, they're so easy in the middle of the night, especially those first few weeks when you're changing and feeding, and you're, you know, you're just so not dreary, but di not dizzy. What? <laughs> Guys, I'm still clearly struggling. When you're so tired, it is so nice to just be able to go whoop, and it all unbuttons or all unmagnetizes and then to dress them again, it just magnetizes right back. Yeah, you saw how fast that happened, amazing. My biggest tip with these though is, I learned the hard way, the, the newborn size I had got a little bit ruined because I washed it without closing the magnets. Definitely close them before you wash and dry it. So that's my biggest tip, but I think these are amazing. They're not nearly as expensive as the Magnetic Me brand, so I'll link these below. Love them. And I got mine at Bye Bye Baby. I don't know if they're sold anywhere else. So speaking of nails and stuff like that, one thing that I like, but I, I still am, am not totally sold on, is this little contraption to trim your baby's nails it just is such a slow process it's great because it's not painful like that that's just it i you better believe it happened i was clipping and i was even using like infant nail clippers and i was clipping them and you know i do you even want me to say it i won't say it so then i was like i gotta pull but this just wasn't getting them short enough i felt like i was continually filing so I still recommend it because if you're nervous about cutting the nails, I got way too confident and then it all went wrong. This is still nice to have. So I would still recommend having it, but just know it's a little bit tedious. So I feel 50-50 about it. Like I said, I'm glad to have it and I'm still gonna use it, especially since what happened happened, but it's just, it's tedious. Another fail. Let me start with a, a favorite, then a fail. I love the Frida Snot Sucker. I don't have it down with me. Not that you'd wanna see our used one anyway, but I know it sounds gross, it works. It's the only thing that works. I'm gonna tell you that. I spent a gross amount of money on this thing right here, the little bronze snot sucker. This does not work. I looked at the reviews and I thought, oh my gosh, it's the answer to our prayers. Like, Tyler is so grossed out by the snot sucker, he will not do it. I'll do it, it's fine. I'll be the one in the family that does it. But I thought, this is great, he can help with that. And maybe on a tiny newborns, it would actually work. No, no. I do not know who, that. I don't know what this would suck out. I have tried it a million times. It does not get anything out. It doesn't get anything out. So do not, please don't waste your money. If you have this and you've had a good experience, please explain to me what you're doing differently than what I'm doing because I can't figure out how, why this has good reviews. And of course I missed the return window so it's not like I could even get my money back. Okay, our favorite burp cloths are these Cloud Island ones. Again, Target. 
you get a, you know a couple in a pack I like that they're big enough that you can easily drape it over your shoulder but they're not ginormous they are easy to fold up they don't take up much room in your diaper bag either one of my fails is and this is kind of a eh, fail is from copper pearl which you guys know I love but these are just so thick. A, they don't wash well. Like I feel like they got weird after one wash, which is fine. They're really thick. So if you're needing, like if you've got a baby that's spitting up a ton, you might want this because it's thick. It's gonna soak up a lot, but it got weird after one wash. It's so thick when you fold it. I don't know. Like, I don't know why that bothers me, but it just does. When you compare apples to apples, it's like, wow. So I wouldn't buy these again. I wouldn't buy them for anyone. I would definitely go the Cloud Island route because they're thinner. There's literally like towel material. They wash and dry really well. Of course. <laughs> they are literally working on our yard, which is great. But you guys might have to deal with that sound for a bit. <laughs> I'm working with very limited time with a newborn up there. All right, I feel like this video is getting really long. So our favorite swaddle blanket is from Copper Pearl. Again, it's that same exact material as the three-in-one thing I showed you earlier. Super stretchy, beautiful prints. I've realized a couple things. One, I only needed like two or three blankets. I have like maybe six or seven, and I really only needed two or three because I was doing laundry every week anyway, if not every few days, especially early on. But this is the kind I like. If you're really gonna swaddle within a blanket, which we didn't do very often because we just used the ready-to-go swaddles, but if you were, I felt like these were so much easier because they're stretchy to get a good swaddle out of versus the more muslin like one so if 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 we had another baby i would just get these i would get like two or three of the copper pearl not even mess around with the muslin ones they're fine and they're cute and i have them but again i just prefer this another random thing and i remember buying this like i feel like a week or two before we had the baby and i was like i don't know if we'll use them and boy do we use them it was a three pack of these kind of like diaper changing liners. Like I think it's a pad you just put on, like if you have one of the hard type of changing pads. We don't use that. We have like a just classic kind of diaper changing station upstairs with like the soft, but we use these in a little tote, which a, a tote is another recommendation. If you, especially if you have a house where, you know, you're sleeping in one place, but maybe you have a second floor that you're gonna be with the baby a lot. Having a tote that has diapers, wipes, a little changing pad in it, maybe a burp cloth, an extra passy diaper cream in, and like a blanket. Yeah, I think those are all the things I typically keep in it. Having that is so awesome because you can just grab it. Like we literally have one in our living room that we use constantly, literally constantly, and it's so nice to not have to go upstairs to change every time, you know? Anyway, we have these in there. They are so easy to wash. They're, in the end, one of the best things I kind of bought on a whim because we use it. I also have another tote in our bedroom. We don't use this much anymore because she doesn't wake up as much at night, but when she did and we were changing her diaper and stuff, it was nice to have that tote and that one has a little light. They still sell it. We had it with Genevieve. I can link below. I feel like it's kind of pricey for what it is, but having the light is nice in the middle of the night if you're not trying to turn on a bunch. You can see it you, enough to like kind of change the diaper, but these little pads were amazing. Like I said, they wash really easily, so if anything gets on them, they just go in the laundry with the rest of the clothes. So some more like bath time things. Uh, our favorite, which we use for both girls and just kept it, bath is the Angel Care one. It is the one I would recommend hands down because you don't have to have a separate basin that has water in it and do all that. You literally just stick it in your tub. It works from, uh, we used it when she, that was our, her first bath was in that. We used to have the little flower one you put in the tub. We use that like once or twice. Like you can go ahead with the Angel Care one and use it right away, which is amazing. And another tip to get babies to like their bath a little more would be to put a washcloth on their like midsection and put warm water on it. So that way while they're in the tub, obviously they're not gonna have water up super high. So they get a little cold, but if you put that on there and continually pour water over that, they're warm throughout the bath. So it's a little bit more comfortable. They're not feeling like strange and cold and stuff. Anyway, we love that one. It is our favorite. It dries super quickly. We just kind of stick it in the tub once the, and it just dries in there really fast. And it is awesome. These are not necessary, but nice to have. This little duck, <laughs> I kind of giggled when we were thinking about ordering because I was like, I feel like it's a little overkill. We end up using this all of the time because it'll turn red. You put it right in the water as it's filling up in the tub. It will turn red if it's too hot. It'll be green if it's good. It's been awesome because there have been times that we stick it in and it's red and it's way too hot and it's hard to tell. For an adult, you know, I'll put my hand in. I'm like, I, that feels good, like not too hot. 
but then you know i'll put this in and be like oh no it's definitely too hot so this has just been nice it's not super expensive but it works really easily so we've liked that and then also we've used this for both kids this little skip hop water pour i kind of thought was overkill when we first bought it long ago but we've used it for years I, we still use with this with our four-year-old so just having it makes it easier to wash their hair to rinse them off so we really like it and then our favorite lotion i wasn't going to mention but we've switched to using eucerin it's what our doctor or pediatrician recommended because she had a little bit of eczema issues genevieve had the same problem and the eucerin has worked so well so we like i had a couple different kinds and we've just switched to just using that and it works great it helped with her baby acne she had on her face it cleared it up within days all right so now let's talk about the big items these are the things that are expensive that we love not all of them are crazy expensive but things that are just like bigger purchases generally some that we love some that we really did not <laughs> let's talk about the duna you've probably heard of it if you're in this sphere and it's a car seat that with the click of a button will turn wheels will pop out and you can pull the handle up and it becomes a little makeshift stroller this is not something that's going to replace your stroller stroller and that is why when we bought it after a month or so before we'd even had her tyler and i were talking we were like maybe we return it or sell it because i don't think we're going to use it we have to get a separate carrier to click into our stroller anyway like it just seems like overkill we're not going to use it well, we were past the return window and then we were going to sell it, but we never got around to it because we had the baby, etc. We decided let's just give it a try. We already had the base, so we tried it, fell in love. We have used that thing more than anything. So a couple things to know is A, if you buy it, you can resell it and retain a decent amount of the value. You're going to get a lot of your money back. So if you can afford to buy it, don't let that scare you because you can always resell it on Facebook Marketplace for, you know, you won't get all your money back, but you could always get a good amount of it back because a lot of people want the Duna. And that's another tip. Buy the Duna secondhand. You could always buy it. You know, be wary. It is a car seat. You know, it's hard to know. Has it been in a car wreck? Has it, you know... So make your own decisions there, but you know, you can definitely save some money on that, but it has just been such a game changer. You can buy accessories for it, like a thing you can snap on to it that, that Duna makes that can hold some things in it, can hold bottles if you want. It's a little bit awkward. We bought it because we used this on a road trip and it was awesome. But again, it just doesn't fully replace a real stroller for like long-term things. So just be aware of that. At least it doesn't for us. Maybe it will for some people, but we do still love it. They do sell a base you can install in your car that literally it just snaps into and snaps out of, which is amazing too. All right, diaper pails. We've gone through two different ones. We had one and I don't even know if they still sell this brand and I can't even think of the brand now, but we bought a new one, I'll link below. We really like, it's still new to us, but I do think a diaper pail is essential, period. I really don't think you have to get the kind that has the bag that twists or whatever it is that the diaper genie does. The one we have was not wildly expensive. I think it's the most popular one. I want to say it's the Ubi brand, U-B-B-I. We got a cream color. It works great. It keeps the smell out. That's all we really need it to do. <laughs> and it does a great job. I've got a fail for a swing and a win for a swing. So we tried the Mamaru with Genevieve. She hated it hate it because it's not really a swing it is very different but i also have heard of babies that absolutely love it we ended up giving ours to my parents so my parents have it then we brought it to our workspace for a bit and then we gave it back to them <laughs> we've had quite a journey felicity also doesn't really like it so to me that one was a fail and it was expensive but the fisher price kind of classic swing i think it's like their rock a puppy or whatever it is genevieve loved and felicity loves because you can swing sideways you can turn it and it swings back and forth it plays music it's got a little mobile with a mirror that can turn it does all of those things it's really simple but both babies have loved it i feel like over and over again i hear a lot of people in videos say the same thing they bought a more expensive one and in the end their baby just like the fisher price one so i'm telling you if you're watching this and you're like i but i want to buy like a nice one no no the Fisher Price one still isn't like super cheap. Just buy it and trust me, it's amazing. It's the one. It is the one. <laughs> I don't know how other brands haven't figured it out. Fisher Price figured it out and it is perfect. If you are planning on nursing or trying to nurse, and honestly, even with bottle feeding, it's nice. I have loved for both babies the My Breast Friend pillow. We also have a boppy and we do like that, especially for bottle feeding or eventually when she starts sitting up, you can kind of use it to help with that, that kind of thing. The boppy is just so universal and I do think it's worth having. It's also nice for like younger siblings or cousins or, you know, kids that want to hold the baby. It's nice to have that, but it's also nice as an adult when you're bottle feeding to just 
rest your arm, you know? Yes, you can use pillows and stuff, but it's just nice to have the boppy. But my breast friend, for sure, if you are nursing, is hands down, it is the one. It is so freaking good. I've used the same one. I know they've adjusted it a bit, but it's so firm on top and it's just the right shape. And I still use it. It's by my nightstand to this day. It is so good. This bouncer we bought only like a month ago and it is our favorite thing in the whole wide world. It is from the brand Baby Delight. I learned about it from my brother and my sister-in-law and it's on Amazon. It's not as expensive as like the Baby Bjorn and stuff like that but it does the same thing. It kind of bounces as they kick, it'll bounce them. And so they like that, but then you can also just with your hand, there's something about the shape of it that she just likes. When we put her in it, it is her happiest. She likes this better than the swing. And it's so nice because we can set her in it and have her right there on the floor while I'm trying to get some dishes done. She's happy. This is like an aftermarket uh, little thing you can attach because the actual bouncer came with a little thing, but it's not really exciting. Like the little thing, but this is nice because you can hook this to anything. You could literally hook this on a changing table, a bassinet, and adjust the little clips. And there's a bunch of different versions. This unicorn is actually separate. I just clipped it on there. But anyway, it is awesome. She loves it. So I can link this below too, but there's like a million of those, but it is the bouncer. I'm telling you, this is the greatest thing. I don't know, because I didn't buy it for a reason. I kept seeing it. I'm like, why would babies love this? Like, it's so simple. There's some kind of magic in it, you guys. A play mat, I really do think, I know this This list is so long. You guys should know, if you're watching all of this, I know it's a lot, and you know, you know in your heart, you don't have to have all of this stuff. But I just wanted to share my experience with all of these things because, you know, we have tried a lot and you do as a parent, I feel like it's overwhelming. There's so many different brands making so many different things. And some things, I'm gonna talk about the snoo in a second that I'm not really sure are worth the money. I'm just sharing my experience with these. Please don't feel like because I'm mentioning all of this that that means you've gotta have all of these for your newborn. You know what your newborn needs. They need milk, they need clothes, maybe a blanket, diapers and wipes. Like that's it. You know you know that in your heart. So please don't feel like you need to have all this stuff, but I just wanna share. Okay, so the play mat we have, we've had a couple over the years. We have the Love Every one right now because it was sent to us. It is a pricier one. I really do like it though. It's one that I'm gonna keep in case we do have a third kid because it's just really well thought out. It's one of those like companies that they really do the, the research and the science behind like what different ages actually like. So I'll link it below. I know I have like an affiliate link, but I don't know if it saves you money or not. I'll have to look into it and put below what I can find. I really do like it though. And if you were looking for a really nice gift for someone, Love Every is one of those brands that it's like a really nice gift. But I like that it's really versatile. There's a lot of different things she can do with it. There's stuff that help with tummy time that has helped a lot because she likes tummy time a little more now but she really did not like tummy time. I don't know any newborn that does, and that has helped a lot. But I'll link, I have two other tummy time toys that are inexpensive on Amazon that I love. One is like a water mat that both kids, well actually, now that I'm saying that, Genevieve loved. I haven't really tried it as much with Felicity. I need to pull that back out, but I remember that being amazing. And then one is like a little trifold thing that kind of flips and you can do a mirror. There's different black and white things. Again, not very expensive, but it really does help with tummy time. Okay, but I feel like play mats, you don't have to spend the money on. You can get a much less expensive one. You can get one used for a song. <laughs> So definitely, if you're not sure, I do think they're they're useful. I feel like in the newborn stage, it's hard because you, there's not a lot of playing you can do with them. There really isn't. I mean, at first, they're you're not playing with them because it's not even in their mind. You know what I mean? But you know, especially as they hit two or three months and they start to smile and coo and laugh, you know, you kind of feel like, what do I do with you all day? You know? And a play mat is really nice to have. Okay, one that we love. I actually have the box for because we just bought another one for our room to stay in there. It's the Hatch Rest. So they have the Rest and the Rest Plus. Really the main difference between the Rest and the Rest Plus is that it has an audio baby monitor and a little clock. I don't know that you have to have that. I really don't, we haven't used it yet because she's still sleeping in our room. But the sound that this makes, my husband and I have fallen in love with. We sleep with it every night, of course, right now with our baby being in there. But we bought another one for a reason because we're like, okay, well, when she moves into her room, we still want this sound. So it's been amazing. I love the nightlight. I can tap on top. I can get a white light. I can get red light if you want that. There's some research behind red light doesn't really wake the babies up as much, especially if you're feeding in the middle of the night. It's really nice. It is really nice. I just have it on my nightstand. So there's lots of different sounds. You can use it as they get older. Genevieve still has one in her room where you can do it like, okay, at 8 a.m. it turns green and that's how she knows she's allowed to get up and go about the house. 
or but like while it's still red or while it's still whatever then they know they can't so you can use it as they get older which I think is really cool one other thing I wanted to talk about was the snoo and I know I've gotten a lot of people asking so we bought ours secondhand on Facebook marketplace so I'm really thankful we were gonna rent it and I actually had it all set up because you can rent it through snoo you have to rent it a few months like basically to, to make it worth it you want to rent it at least for a few months but then you still have to pay a fee to like the cleaning fee at the end. And, and so in the end, that's what we were gonna do. But I, I ended up canceling it because we found it for cheaper in the end on Facebook Marketplace and now we own it. So my thing is, if we had had, and I kind of explained this in a previous vlog, but if we had had a super colicky baby, I think the snoo would have been awesome. But because Felicity, knock on wood, has been such a calm baby, and I, I'm saying this only because Genevieve was absolutely not a calm baby. She was very colicky, very gassy, cried all the time, didn't sleep well, like all of those things that you may be going through right now or you may go through very soon. I think if we had used the snoo and had the snoo with Genevieve, she would have loved it. I really do think it would have made a difference. But because Felicity has been so good, we just didn't use it very much. We have her sleep in it, but we end up using, we don't use the snoo snack. <laughs> I knew I wouldn't be able to say it. The snoo sacks very much. We use them a little bit at the beginning. We don't turn on the motion very much or the sounds. We, honestly, we haven't used it in like a month. She just sleeps in it like a regular bassinet. And that sucks because it was so expensive. But I'm like, well, I told Tyler, I'm like, we can always resell it. We could have just bought a regular bassinet, obviously. So my thing is, I think because we don't know if we're gonna have another kid or not, I don't wanna like resell it yet because we did buy it. And again, if our next one, if, 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 if our next one ends up being super colicky, I'll be glad to have it and we've already spent the money. So I'm gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it in storage once we're done with it, wrap it all up real nice and make sure that it still works for the next baby just in case. But if I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't have bought it. <laughs> so I take that piece of advice as you will, you know, it's kind of one of those things that if you can afford it, maybe it'll work great for you. They have cheaper versions now that are kind of similar. So keep that in mind too. Like if you want ones with movement, they have that that's not as expensive. That's kind of been our experience. I'm sorry, I don't have a more concrete like yes or no for you because I just don't. So a couple other things I wanted to mention, the bottle warmer and wipe warmer saga. Those are two products that I feel like you can absolutely live without but they can make your life easier. So we ended up with both. We bought the wipe warmer. I bought it, ooh, like days before we had her and I shouldn't have bought it. So I went to return it because like she was three weeks old and we still hadn't opened it. And I'm like, okay, we're obviously not gonna use it because my middle of the night changes were when I was wanting to use warm wipes so it didn't wake her up. But you have to have it plugged in. So we didn't have it right there. We had it in her nursery and I was changing her just on the bed. And so we literally just didn't end up opening it. So I went to return it to Target. It was in the box, brand new. Online, I went to return it and they said, okay, you know, you've been refunded, blah, blah, blah. But they, I don't know why, but it just said, you don't need to take this item back in. So feel free to keep it or do whatever you want with it. I was like, what? So I'm like, well, now we got refunded this money and we still have this brand new wipe warmer. So I'm like, well, I guess we can use it. So I plugged it in in the nursery and we've been using it now when we change her in the day. It's great, but it's just not necessary. I guess that's it. Some people love it. You know, it is what it is. We just, we are using it because we have it, I guess, but it's not, you know, I don't, it, you just don't need it. The bottle warmer I do think is nice. Now that we have the baby Brezza, we don't use it as much. The only time we really use it is if I am heating up like a bottle of breast milk. But again, I only pump sometimes, so it's not super useful. But the first few months before we had the baby browser, the first few weeks, we were using it all the time. So I'll link the one we have, I really do like. I like that it's universal, it heats it up pretty quickly. It's really simple to use. Cause I've seen some really complicated ones and I've also seen some that are so bottle specific that you have to have that brand that I'm like, what? So I really like the one we have, it's Philips Avent. And yeah, the last thing I wanted to mention is like cute outfits. I do think for the newborn stage and zero to three months like that size, it's nice to have a few cute outfits. So don't feel like because you hear a lot of people in videos say, you know, don't buy any cute clothes for the newborn stage, you're not gonna use them. I think having a few cute outfits is nice because sometimes you're having family over or you're doing like a, a special thing and you want them to be in a cute little dress or whatever. Just because they're not gonna wear it all of the time during the day doesn't mean you can't have an outfit or two that's really cute. So I do wanna mention that because I feel like even me, I remembered like, yeah, we're not gonna use a lot of cute outfits. I mean, she's been in sleepers 
pretty much every day, all day. Like that is just what it's, it, it makes sense. But there have been a few times where I was so thankful to have cute outfits for those different occasions. So don't feel like you're not allowed to buy the cute outfits because everyone says you're not gonna use them. You'll use them enough. It's okay to get the cute outfits, that's all. But you don't need like 10 <laughs> or even five. Okay, I think that's everything. I am hungry, I need to eat. I feel like I was talking so fast and I spewed so much information out at you. I, I just, I love trying out new things. That's a big part of what I share about here on YouTube. I do a lot of makeup videos, but I also do just vlogs. I do just chill chatty videos like this, but well, not like this because I'm chatting about like life and stuff. So if you want to check out some of my other videos, maybe this is your first, I would love if you hung out and checked out some more of them. They're not all like products in your face heavy, I promise. <laughs> I feel dizzy doing all this. I love you guys. I hope this was helpful. I do have pregnancy must-haves video. I have uh, another kind of newborn favorite type video, but it was before I had Felicity. So I kind of share about some different stuff if you want to hear about that. I'm still tossing around the idea of doing like a nursery tour. I still feel like because she's not sleeping in there just yet, we don't have everything just right. Like it's, it's good and it's working for us, but it's not perfect. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do it or not. We'll see. Let me know if you'd be interested, but yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one.